Hello everybody, I'm Father Chris. Some of you may remember me. I look after the big church down at the bottom of St Thomas's Road. Normally, sometimes you come into church, especially at Christmas time, for a special service from nursery. But we're not able to do that this year. So I thought I'd record this to tell you a very special story. The story of Christmas. Once, long ago, in the town of Nazareth, in the north of Israel, there was a girl called Mary, just an ordinary girl, looking forward to getting married, looking forward to having a family at her own home. But something amazing was going to happen. She was going to get married to Joseph, who was a town carpenter. You know what a carpenter is? He makes things out of wood. You know, tables, carts, boxes, anything that you need made out of wood. One day, One day Mary was cleaning in the house and suddenly an angel appeared. Don't be afraid, Mary, said the angel. My name's Gabriel. I've brought a message for you from God. He wants you to be the mother of his son, who will be a special king for all Israel. Mary didn't know what to think. But how? Why? Don't worry, said, said Gabriel. This is going to be something that God does. You've just got to trust God. You don't need to understand it all. Don't worry. Mary thought about what the angel had said. She knew that God loves us all. And we can always trust him. If he wanted it, then it was the right thing to do. I'll do whatever God wants, said Mary. Far away in Rome, the Emperor Caesar Augustus, who ruled the land that Mary and Joseph lived in, and a lot of other places as well, wanted to know exactly how many lands he did rule over and how many people. He decided to have a great count. And so, he said, he gave out an order. Everybody should go to the town where their family had come from. And then they'd be able to count them all. So Mary and Joseph set off to the town where Joseph's family had come from. They set off to Bethlehem. Mary was very pregnant and Joseph was worried about her. Would they get somewhere to stay before the baby was born? When Mary and Joseph got to Bethlehem, all everywhere was full of so many people coming for the big count. The only place there was for them was a stable. And it was there in the stable round the back of an inn that the baby was born Mary's baby and she called him as you all know Jesus that night out on the hills 
there were some shepherds looking after their sheep. Then suddenly the shepherds were amazed to see hundreds of angels in the sky all glowing brightly, singing glory to glo God, glory to God, peace on earth. And the chief angel said, I have a special message for you, shepherds. A baby has been born in Bethlehem, a very special baby. You must go and see him. This baby is the Son of God. You'll find him in a stable, lying in a manger. The shepherds hurried off. They went into Bethlehem, and that's exactly what they found. Mary and Joseph and the baby lying there in the manger, baby Jesus. And the shepherds came to see him and worship him. Meanwhile, far away, Three wise men who studied the stars saw a special star which they realised meant a special baby has been born, a baby who would be a king. And they went off following the star to try and find him. Eventually the star brought him to Bethlehem and there they found the special king with Mary and Joseph. And the three wise men brought this very special baby, three rather unusual presents. They brought him gold, which is a sign of power and wealth, the sign of a king, somebody really important. They brought other things too. They brought frankincense, which people sometimes burn to make a nice smell during worship. So it's a sign of God, somebody who's God, somebody who's very special and very holy. And then they brought some myrrh. Myrrh used for making hurt things better. And it's a sign that this baby would make the hurts of the world better. Because this baby grew up to be Jesus. Who showed us how God wants us to live. Died for us and rose again. And is in heaven always loving us. There, I told you it was a very special story. Now we're going to say a prayer. Hands together, please. Father God, thank you for Christmas, for the fun and the presents and the nice food. Thank you most of all for the first Christmas when Jesus came into the world to share our lives. Thank you that though it was a long time ago, Jesus still loves us, looks after us, and shows us a way to live. Amen. Now, may the joy of the angels, the excitement of the, sh of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the trust of Mary and Joseph and the peace of the baby Jesus be yours this Christmas and always. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit 
be upon you and remain with you, now and for evermore.